Hey everyone, Darlene here from the Single Boss Lady. Welcome to this week's intuitive business reading. I love doing these and suddenly just as I spoke, I've got huge amounts of energy coming through and I've just got really hot. <laughs> this is what happens when I do these readings. Absolutely beautiful. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love for you to subscribe. Feel free to share as well, react and comment. It would mean so much to me. Now let's see what's going to come out. Ooh. And the energy is all around my chest. And it's all about, oh, actually the word grief is coming up. Lungs is about grief. And it's, what's coming through is opening your heart up to work through that beautiful grief. Now, grief may be there for a long time. It doesn't matter. What matters is being open to it and allowing it to work through your body and then gently let go. It may, as I said, it may take some time to let this grief go. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Just recognize it. Recognize that it's actually there. And as soon as I've done that, my, my hand and my heart are just on fire. And my the back of my heart, which is the letting go, front's receiving, back's letting go. That is just, I can actually see my heart chakra open up beautifully. The back of it, it's opening up, allowing anything out. So this is for the collective. This is to help you understand what you can do. You can literally put your hand to your heart. Imagine your heart and then just see an opening or whatever. Or not see, imagine, because we all have different abilities. I like the word imagine instead. Imagine an opening. Imagine whatever it is letting go. Imagine it going. Oh, beautiful. Oh, someone needed that today. Oh, wow. Right, let's see what's going to else is going to come out today. Now, we've got a major arcana card, which is the inner journey, going in and having a look. And it's the moon. Now, the moon is actually encased in a beautiful, there's lots of cogs, actually. Um, there's a beautiful column, and there's like half a circle and then it's all gold, and then um, the circle's got gold coming out, beautiful intricate details holding the moon there, and there's actually a face in the moon, and the moon looks like it's a little sliver with a face, allowing the changes to happen, the word changes is coming through, allowing the changes to happen, and the emotions that come up with those changes, changes do happen, and emotions come up when changes happen, you know, we mightn't like that change or it might have been too much for us. That's okay. Allow those beautiful emotions to come up because they're there to help you. They're there to support you as well. Now, there's actually three animals in here. It looks like two black wolves and there's actually a crab. Now, the wolves are howling at the moon and beside the moon, there's actually two columns shining a light and it's shining a light on what you need to look at. What is it in regards to change that you need to look at? What isn't working? When you do change in your business, when changes happen in your business, what isn't working? Now, what that means is there might be changes. It means you might bring on someone, you might let someone go, you might refine your foundations, you might refine your messaging, your services. That's all little changes. How do you react to those changes? What emotions come up when you have those changes happen? And the howling of the moon is just letting all of that out. I mean, how, if you want, go for it. And there's the cogs, like there's beautiful cogs all there. And it just means that the changes happen. And along, as, as long, excuse me, information gets channeled so quickly sometimes I get you know can't speak properly the cogs are there to remind you that things are still working things are still turning and it's okay that change happens because everything still turns it's not like changes happen and boom that's it done no change it's all still turning beautifully oh now, for some reason, they've asked me to say what the number is, which is 18, which is 9, which is endings. 
And again, you can actually look up nine and see what it means for you. But generally, it means endings. And again, changes mean endings. What is ending? How are you embracing that ending? Are you really tapping in and going, okay, great. This is happening. What emotions are coming up? What am I doing? Whew, beautiful. Right, let's see what the fairies have got to say. Now, because I, oh, there we go. Because I tap in, I need to just make sure I move around and move all that energy out and don't keep anything that's not mine. Oh, beautiful. Find balance. Find the balance between your work, rest and playtime and you will have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. Now, I am so adamant that you do find that balance and whatever balance works for you. Don't make it like 50-50 or whatever it is. Or what it'll be poof, a bit of a fly. Um, there's three. So what? Is it only about 35 or something like that. 33. It doesn't need to be an even number. It's whatever works for you. If that means that work is only 30%, fine. Don't worry about it. What is right for you to have that balance? Now, for me, with mental health challenges, rest and play time are really important. And that is how I've become really strategic with my business and what I do and how much I actually work on my business. Because I need, you know, I need more rest and play time than others may do. And the more that I do that and really do that well, the better my business is, the better I am in my business, the more productive I am. And I do feel more energy. It's just, it is truly beautiful. It is truly beautiful when you find that beautiful balance that works for you. Oh, let's see what else is coming up. Oh. Now, I'm actually getting a bit of pain in my left back, which is the feminine side. It's also um, receiving. Who out there isn't receiving? It's to do with the balance, actually. The balance. Balancing, receiving and giving, that's what's coming up, is that we can give and give and give. But if we don't receive equally, then that reduces our energy, that reduces our productivity, and that's, you know, energy is important. And we can get frustrated. It's like, I'm giving and I'm giving and I'm giving. Why, you know, why? Why isn't things happening? Why isn't things working? It's because you're not receiving. You know, somebody might say, hey, let's go for dinner. I'll shout you. And you go, oh, no, that's okay. No, allow that person to give to you and you receive that. It's really important that we, we do that because by saying no to that person, unless, you know, this, you've got other plans or something, but saying no to that person affects them as well because they're putting themselves out to give you something. And if you say no, they're like, oh, oh, and it does actually affect them. And of course, you know, when someone offers you something, you do have to sit with your body and make sure it's right for you. Yet when you say no, make sure it's said in a beautiful way that the person realizes that you have accept, you know, um, heard there what they want to offer you and you've gone thank you so much I really appreciate you offering that at this time it's not right for me or something like that something that feels beautiful feels genuine so that the other person doesn't feel horrible because you know that that's happened to me is I've offered things out and then been fully like rejected in a big way and it's not nice now, the card to come out is Star Mother. And interesting that this came out last week. How can you mother yourself? Now, again, I'll say, what does the word mother mean to you? When you think of mother, what comes through? For me, nurturing, self-care, self-love. And you can see it, there's a lot of mothers out there that put others before them. Taking a step back and putting yourself first. Now, in other cultures beautiful friend of mine um, who comes from New Zealand, she said in her culture, giving to all others is actually giving to themselves. And that's a beautiful way. Yet for me, when I give to others, I'm not actually putting myself first. And that's for me. You've got to do what feels right for you. If supporting others is putting yourself first, then that's fine. 
do what is right for you. Now that's this week's beautiful intuitive business reading. As I say, please subscribe, like or react, comment, and I shall see you on the next video. Bye.